The new Mac Pro can have up to 1.5 terabyte of RAM, but for content creator, how much is the perfect RAM for video editing in 2020? <laughs> So what's up guys, Fabria and welcome to Shades of Tech. This is episode number 4 of upgrading my iMac to the Max DAO configuration series. I leave the link to all the other videos up here. This is the late 2013 27-inch iMac base model, or at least it was. In the past episode we opened completely unmounted every component and maxed out the CPU with an i7 quad-core CPU up to 3.9 GHz and a crazy fast 3TB SSD configuration that Apple doesn't even sell. So to complete this project today I'm going to upgrade to the full 32GB with 4 DIMMs of 8GB each of 1600DDR3 memory, which is the maximum capacity that this model can have. You must know that the RAM upgrade is very easy, really very very easy. There is a door on the back of the iMac that you can open and in just minutes pass from a base 8GB to a 64GB that you can add on the latest 2019 model. And more importantly, it's user gradable from Apple meaning that you won't void your warranty at all. So before proceeding, check which model you have and the maximum capacity supported. And to do that, be sure to check OWC and MacSale.com website where you can find all the information and the RAM sticks to get. You can't make mistake with them. And talking about OWC, I want to thank them for sending all the 32 gig of RAM kit I use in this video. So opening the back door is very easy. You have to disconnect the power cord, just press the button you find near the plug and it will open the hatch. Then you open the mechanism and will reveal the RAM slots remove them and insert the new one. This upgrade, in my opinion, is the best you can do, because third-party RAM costs way less than what Apple charges for factory upgrade, and it doesn't even void your warranty, so in my opinion, you should never get a grade from Apple and just buy the base RAM and then upgrade it yourself. You'll save a lot of money. For example, the 2019 iMac lineup. Apple charges a ridiculous $600 for 32 gig and a thousand dollar for 64 of 2666 MHz DDR4 memory upgrade from factory. You can't even choose 128. Well, using OWC and upgrading it yourself, you will save for those configuration 460 dollars and 720, and get 120 gig for the price that Apple charges for 32 gig. If you want, you can also upgrade RAM directly from the motherboard once you remove everything else like we did but i wouldn't suggest you doing that for obvious reasons how well does it perform did we see an improvement well actually we did of course the most intensive task we use this iMac for is video editing with final cut pro 10 and the improvements were very noticeable with 8 gigs the operation were very slow and while even editing you couldn't literally open anything else but with the 32 gig now everything is smooth and also during rendering and even while exporting I can open Safari with a lot of tabs open which is very RAM intensive program and everything continues to be smooth. Of course I couldn't do that before but while I was writing this video I had pages Safari open while exporting in Final Cut Pro. I was really blown away it was bananas. Of course the more RAM you have available the more Final Cut will use, but I think that for 2020 and for 4K 30 video editing, 32 gig is more than enough. Of course, in the next couple of years, maybe having 48 or even 64 gig will be needed, but for now, I think that to have a nice experience in video editing, you should need at least 24 to 30 gigs of RAM. So I got four DIMMs of 8 gig gigs of 1600 DDR3 memory for $138. But if 32 is overkill for you, I suggest you to get only 2 8 gig each DIMMs and add to the 2 4 gigs DIMMs already included on the base model iMac. In this way you will get a total of 24 gig and spend only $70. I think this could be the best trade-off for you. So this process is also true for all the iMac until 2019 line. You just need to find out the right components you can install according to your model of iMac. And of course the newer the iMac, the bigger the RAM capacity you can use and also the faster the RAM. So this was it, stay tuned for the next episode with the series finale. 
Thanks so much for watching me so far. Be sure to like or dislike this video, comment and subscribe for the next episode of the series. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!